All right. Now we're doing 6Q, Season 2, Count Characters in Your String. This is by Ori Stone, and 91% of the people like it. So the main idea is to count all the occurring characters in a string. If we have a string like ABBA, then the result, pardon me, then the result should be A is 2 and B is 1. So the key is A, the key is B, the value is 1, 2, the value is 1. All right, respectively. So what if the string is empty? Then the result should be an empty object literal, just like this. All right. So for this one, we're going to utilize the require function, right? We're going to say const here count equals string. We're just going to use s here, actually, and then just make the rest of this an arrow like that, right? So if you don't know about the require function, uh, Basically, the JavaScript require function facilitates a way to include JavaScript modules in our code, and these modules are essentially the same as a JavaScript library, though modules are typically smaller. And modules are JavaScript files that usually only have a few lines of code. Most of that's irrelevant. Basically, what it's going to do is we're going to be able to access a library, uh, and then we're going to use the method inside of that library. So the library we're going to access for this is this Lodash library right here. Uh, and they, you could go to lodash.com and it's right here. And then the uh, actual method we're going to use is this count by right here. And so the count by, we can put the collection and the iterative. I don't, I don't really know what this part is. Actually, yeah, yeah, actually. So look right here. So in this one, they're doing a math.floor on it and uh, then just counting up what these would be. And since there's two sixes, there's two sixes right here, and then a four right here, and it's going in uh, numerical order. Uh, and then someone's doing the length. So basically what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna say uh, require, and then we're gonna access the low dash like this, and then we'll just say dot count by, and then in here, we'll say S. So it's basically like, just like doing like an, a math.min or a math.max or, or uh, what did we just see like, uh, like the math.floor or whatever. So it's just making, it's just basically making this, it's just taking this function and then putting the, the uh, string in there and doing it. Let's see if it works or if I'm just pulling your leg. Ah, uh, it works, it works, it works. And attempt it. And there we go and submit it. So, there we go, and you see there's a few longer ways to do it. We could have uh, split up the string into its own array, use the for each method to uh, say if the count of s exists in, a, uh, in this uh, uh, object that we make up here. If, it, if the uh, thing exists, then we'll say plus plus to that, uh, to that key you know, we'll add one to the value of the key. And if not, we'll just have, if it uh, doesn't exist, we'll just put one and just make it, uh, we'll just start it off with one. Hopefully that makes sense. And then return the count. And then here we're doing the split reduce method right here, uh, but basically the same thing, but we're just doing reduce instead. Uh, and then you can just keep going and see all the rest if you feel like it. Let's go over to mine. Just me on this one. Best practice in my opinion. Very much like it. And we'll see you next time.